Pretty ladies and smooth gentlemen. Once again, my name is Malik, the Cool Brother, and you're now tuning into the Cool Podcast with the Cool Brother, a special edition. I'm doing an in-person interview with a lovely, talented lady. She's a manager. I call her boss lady, and she's a talented songstress. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the lovely and talented manager, boss lady, entrepreneur, Miss P. Michelle Thompson. Welcome to the show, my dear. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. No doubt, no doubt. So why don't you tell the listeners what you do and what you're about? Okay, so I sing with the band Forever Fusion, mm -hmm. which you're a part of. It's, yeah. it's awesome. Yes. Um, also, I manage um, several artists. Um, Our Soul, d Daddyfication, just to name a few. Hey, don't forget about me. Uh, I said to name a few. I didn't say, I didn't leave you out. I said name oh, a few. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, And I, Jesus. I, I book shows. I make sure that they're dressed correctly and that everything is, you know, run smoothly. Nice, nice. And how did you get involved with music? Well, when I was a little girl, mm -hmm. my father and mother put me in dance classes. I had to learn music in order to dance. Mm -hmm. um, I had to learn how to count it, move to it, and as I progressed through life, I wound up um, teaching dance. Mm -hmm. And one day I got corn squabbled and to go on to <laughs> a rehearsal for another band and then find out I'm in the band mm -hmm. after the first rehearsal. Mm -hmm. And do you still dance to this day? Mm, in the kitchen. In the kitchen? <laughs> In the living room with and the broom room. and the duster, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you um, bust out a couple of moves when you was in the previous band. You know, you was teaching me how to do choreography. But I said, hell no, excuse my French. You know, I'm not really a dancer. I would do line dances, but like that choreography dance, like Temptations, no, I'm more of a cool type of. You more of a one step. One step, yeah, one Just step. Just one step, that's yeah, all. Yeah, cool, yeah. I'm more like a cool one step type of dude. Yeah. I'm cool with that. But um, yeah, so do you ever think about going back to dancing? Sometimes I do. Sometimes? Because dancing is my passion. Yeah. You know, when you're passionate about something, mm -hmm. you, know, you work really hard with it. Mm -hmm. um, I have a dance company, it's Let's Get Steppin', and mm -hmm. we are located on Elm Street, New York, Staten Island. Um, they host four dance teams now, so nice, nice. it's a work time. So do you keep in contact with them? Or? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Um, they are not able to book anything in New York without talking to me first. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it has its rewards. It yeah. really does. Nice. And speaking of New York, that's where you're from, right? Staten Island. Staten I'm actually Island. from Pittsburgh. I, Pittsburgh, I just Pittsburgh, okay. moved to New York because the life was, it was, it was easier. Yeah. You know, like... Staten Island is like Squirrel Hill. Yeah, well, as far as like the um, So the it's really calm, yes. Okay. And it's a really calm environment versus New York, um, Manhattan, the Bronx. I started in the Bronx, though. Yeah. I got to give it to the BK. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Nice, so. nice, nice. So have you been to um, Staten Island lately? Not since last year. Last year? Okay. So, it's, it's like once a year, mm -hmm. I will go back up there mm -hmm. just to put my feet up on my own coffee table. <laughs> nice, yes. nice. So do you, do you have a home out there? Yes, I do. So how does this you you an entrepreneur, you got a home, you does it. how many homes you got? You got two. this one? Just two. two. Just two? <laughs> just Sheesh. two. So, so how, do you, how do you balance that, like juggle that two homes? Well, in New York, there, I have a broker. 
who manages the property up there. Mm -hmm. So when I do go home to New York, the only thing they do is go in and pull the, cur the covers back mm -hmm. off the furniture, open the windows so it can air out, and then I come in. My next question is, how do you juggle managing all these artists? I put them in folders. Put them in folders? Yes. So how many artists do you do manage? Okay, so there is a total of five. And who are those five? There's yourself, Dapper Cool. And there's the dedication, there's Ira Soul, there's Make It Make Sense, and there's also Christopher. He's down there in West Virginia. Wow. Yeah, you put them in folders and you get yeah, them and so hook them up. And when I have to pop it, when it's you, your turn, I'll pick up the folder and go, okay, this is Malik. Okay, August, uh, April 19th, uh, he'll be at the bridge. Um, Christopher, okay, so he's in West Virginia, so he'll be down at the Smooth Cafe, just like that. Wow, wow. April 19th. And when it's the dedication, I just just tell him the day before. You tell him the day before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the day. So how do y'all two make me? Oh, Rhythm of the Night yeah. Fusion Band. Uh -huh. yeah, that's how we met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was too in that band as well, you know, it was good times, and then we left that band and did our own thing. Mm -hmm. That's Forever Fusion. We are, we are the founders of it, the nucleus of Forever Ever Fusion. Fusion. That's know? right. And we've been doing shows, you know, us three, along with Make It Make Sense to Jarrell, shout out to them. You know, mm -hmm. Jarrell's doing his fame boxing yeah. thing. And speaking of Jarrell, check out, listen, go listen to my interview with him. Um, I did it last week, it was a great interview. He's doing his thing on the boxing tip, so yeah. That's right. Yeah, keep up, keep, listen, listen to that. We're interview. proud of you, Jerome. Yes, we're, we're definitely proud of you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, now, whoo. So, you and D Daddy. You know. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what, what is life with him? He, he is careful mm -hmm. about everything mm -hmm. he does. Yeah. Um, he thinks before he moves. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. it drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Um. But other than that, he just, he's a smooth dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He's a smooth dude. I can't stand him, but you know. Sometimes I can't either. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it real. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't stand him, you know. He I put his fist up like this. Yeah. I, don't yeah. know why, I don't know why I put up with him. You know, I, mm -hmm. I really don't. Because you know. y'all the roughings. No, he, no, he's the roughing. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just Otis, you know. He's the roughing, you know. I know, I'm Otis. <laughs> you Otis? I'm Otis. <laughs> I'm Otis. You guys take turns being David Ruffin, and I'm well, Otis. I just keep the band together. <laughs> but I would never mean for nothing. Well, 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 you know, Otis is the founder of the band, you know, Temptations, no question. Mm -hmm. But, um, so, um, I know you are a vocalist yourself, so who are your musical influences? Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight? You know, she had those pips. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. She was leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. Yeah. I used to be in the kitchen with the dish track on my head and be, <laughs> be singing that one like, okay. Yeah. You know, dinner like Aretha Franklin. And then we come into the Whitney Houston. Like, there's, there's just see, um, there's just so many. Yeah. Yeah. And I know um, I, I've seen you perform, you know, a couple of times with the Rhythm of the Night. And of course, we have the fusion, you know. You got a very unique voice. You can definitely can pull out some Stephanie Mills and oh, yes. um, uh, what's her name, Denise Williams, and yeah. uh, a couple other. Denise, I, I, I try to run from, but wow. I, I can do her. Why? Yes. Why you try to run? She just hit some of those notes, and they just take me there. Yeah, but you can do them. I know, but it still takes me there. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Mills, that's my girl. Yeah. That's my girl. She yeah. she makes me think about the love of my life. Mm -hmm. So. The love of your life. Yeah, we ain't, that's probably <laughs> some personal life. You're going to leave that right there. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. We're going to leave it right there. And, you know, um, me and you did some duets. That's we have. Yeah, yeah. So how was, how was the experience with that? I enjoyed it. I really did. And I look forward to it. Yeah, me too. So the last time when they didn't have another mic, I was from some kind of way. Like, yeah. are you real? Durians? No, <laughs> you can't be the Durians. No, no. Yeah. I definitely enjoyed doing doing the duet with you. It, it was magical. In fact, I put it on my Facebook. I mean, on my YouTube page, and someone commented on it, comment on it, and he gave us a good review. Like he said that our voices complement each other. That's awesome. Yeah, but I, I'll show it to you once the 
and if you just film yourself. Yeah. That's what I keep trying to tell you. You are good at what you do. The, the, you don't need validation from nobody. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Sometimes my confidence gets shot at times because it's not. I know not everybody's gonna like my voice, and that's fine. But it still hurts. But you know, I just gotta shake it off and. You know, get back on the horse. You know. They don't like mine. I start talking. I, I just the other day I had a guy say I was retarded because I had a stroke, and he really made me upset. But, wow. Yeah. Well, I went to Walmart to get my tires on. Yeah, and I tell him I had a yeah. I had a stroke in October. This is good. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and speaking of that, I'm thank goodness that you're okay and you got mm -hmm. your strength back and. Talking normal, so thank goodness for that. Yeah, yes. it's, it's really good. Yeah, I'm walking, are. I'm talking, I'm eating solid food. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Yes, you are a warrior. Ain't she a warrior, D. Daddy? Most definitely. Word, word. <laughs> <laughs> These two right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, I know, um, your daughter, she sings too, right? Yes. Now, now. Is it possible that y'all two might do a duet or something? She says it all the time. Yeah. But it just, she has so much going on in her life right now. So mm -hmm. it's just getting her to commit to that. Yeah. So yeah, I would definitely love to see her. Did, did her, her daughter, my granddaughter, sing too. very well also. Yeah. It so, just runs in the family because it, it comes from my mom. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And um, speaking of saying, have you sat with your mom on stage? And church. And church, okay. Yeah, and yeah, church. Yeah. Because the gospel is my background. Okay. Church of God in Christ. Okay. So in church uh, with my brother um, and my mom. Okay. So, so your, your brother sings too? Yes. Okay. All yeah. of them. <laughs> they sing and cook. They sing and cook. <laughs> so um, speaking of your, your brother, did you perform with your other brothers while you were on stage or no? Or just only what? in church? Only in church only when we church? were young, yeah. Okay. So did you have a group or while you was in church or no? uh, yeah. yeah. What was the name of the group? <laughs> Linda's Children. What, what, what was it? Linda's Children. Linda's Children. Okay. Yes. Nice. That, and how many how many siblings you got for your mind last year? Um, there are thirteen boys and myself. Oh, you the baby you the baby. I'm the son. only girl. The only girl. Yeah. Wow. I'm the only girl. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. how, how's that? How, how is that? I was rotten. What do you mean? I was so rotten. rotten. Yeah, my dad, he, nothing could happen to me. Yeah. He, he yeah. just, no, don't touch her. <laughs> don't talk to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave her alone. Mm -hmm. And I was bad. Mm -hmm. I did all types of horrible things to my brothers. I put peanut butter and jelly in their shoes and, and their pillowcases. <laughs> 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 I would climb under the dining room table while they're eating and lace all their shoes together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, one brother, I shoved him through a sliding glass door. Sheesh. Yeah. My mom said, go to your room. Your dad's going to get you. I said, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, right. He comes in and he goes, what'd you do? I said, he don't hit me. I told him, I threw him through the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, okay. Well, let's play checkers. That's us take them to that. <laughs> yeah. So, was you the baby of the bunch or no? No, I'm in the middle. Oh, you're in the middle? Okay. Yeah. Well, for me. In the middle. Well, for me, I am the baby of the bunch, you know, the baby brother. Well, you, you have awesome looking sisters. I was checking you guys out like, ooh, go ahead, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite pictures. Yeah, I am the baby brother of the bunch, you know. I got a baby sister, but yeah, I'm the baby brother. So, but yeah, it was definitely a cool picture, you know, so I can't really, you know. Being the only girl was kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. Because my thing was anything boys could do, I could do better. Mm -hmm. That was my attitude. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, that's what it's all about, you know. Yeah. And, and you excel at it. Yes. That's, that's indeed, that's because indeed. I had so many brothers, it made me who I am right. today. So, yeah. pushing myself. Uh huh. That's what it's all about, you know. And they support. They support your managerial skills. Right. Uh, your, your services. I mean. I I micromanage my family. You micromanage, and how did you do that? Uh, when my mom passed away, she passed it to me. Wow. So uh, well, once I uh, became the lighthouse, it's what it is. Mm -hmm. 
I say, okay, this is what we're going to do for this date. This is what we're going to do for that date. Oh, you had this happen, so let me take care of that. Mm -hmm. or whatever it is, I micromanage and make sure that it gets taken care of. For my brothers, my children, mm -hmm. my dad, my grandkids. Yeah. You mentioned um, Iris so He's going to have a listening party. Yes, Iris, his uh, listening party. He's, he's about um, to complete his album. So once it's completed, we're going to go ahead and set up a listening party, send out some invitations, make it real formal, funky. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah, no doubt. Shout out to Iris so. I point. <laughs> forget about yeah. it. What you mean, forget about it? No, we invite roughings too. <laughs> I'll keep telling you, he's roughing. They can hold the door. I ain't holding no door. I can't take you to a really can't. I ain't holding no door. I mean, I hold the door for the baby, yeah. But, you know, for you, no. Because that's the gentleman that you yeah, are. Yeah, well, I hold the door for the ladies, but I stand the door. Oh, Jesus. I'm already in. Y'all are brothers. From two different mothers. Yeah, he's cool, you know. I mean, you know, sometimes I can't stand. Well, you should. Like, oh, God, I gotta take a picture with this dude. Like, come on, man. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> you, you guys are the, uh, the, uh, the funniest. No, he, it's he, always he, a, a joy to, to see uh, us together. Yeah. It really is. We just did the Operation Critical um, mm -hmm. at the Bethlehem AME church and it was it was an, an experience because I went into that worried that I was going to let the team down because I have this thing going on and we pulled it off like it was nothing they actually um, want us to go into the prisons um, starting March um, to perform for the prisoners so I'm, I'm still working out the particulars for that but that's what they're asking they, um, the minister, the special guest minister who was there, he actually asked if we would come back and do another song, but at that point we were already gone. Yeah. So. I, I mean, we, I, I, you know, we do go back. I definitely want to make a song request, you know. Everybody clap their hands. Yes, like, that's a good one. Yeah, I know that, I could, a good I could, I know that song. You know, I definitely know that song. And then, you know, make, um, Michelle, make it make sense that she also has... Um, some different songs that she would like to do. Yeah, shout out to make it make sense, shout out to I um, the gospel is my background, mm -hmm. um, so it, I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the more churches, the merry. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That's the way I see it. No question. No. You know that one, my man? I do not. You do not? <laughs> <laughs> no, Milo's just gonna get up here on top. Crazy because he's sitting next to me. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's my boy. Shout out to Milo. You're a good dog. Yes, yes, yes. That's my baby. You're a good dog. Hey, I'm talking to you, Milo. Say hi, Malik. You could talk to him. Go ahead. You want to come over here, Milo? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. He's the big boy now. Get off my table, crazy. So, what's next for you? What's next for you? What's next for me? Um. Once we get this song out here, mm -hmm. um, I think I'm gonna go on vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I know you said you was going to Disney World, correct? Yeah. That's, uh, um, that's in my March. baby is turning six years old, yeah. and she just deserves the world. She's hearing impaired. Mm -hmm. My name is LaAndra, mm -hmm. and nice. that's that's what's next. Nice, nice. You know, when you retire, that's what you do. You go on vacation. You don't walk with my table, you crazy dog. Okay, come back to me. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. And um, this time I'm going back. I'm going down to the April. Yard? Yeah, in April, Brooklyn. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn. And I was wondering if y'all like to come with me to record the song. Yeah, I just would have to make arrangements for the royal people. Yeah. So y'all, y'all would be down for that. Heck yeah. yeah it's be April, April fifth. That's on a Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you be down with that too, my man? Because, you know, you go from Staten Island to the BK, it's not that far. Yeah. yeah. yeah we could drive down there. We could take and I take y'all up to the BX, to the Bronx, and yeah. show y'all some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Where I like, get the I like best that. beef pass. I like that. For cocoa like that. bread. I like that. Yeah. Like yeah, so um, y'all be down with that? You'll wear a drive or take a bus? 
Oh no, no, no! I'll have to drive. Oh, I just, I, can't, I, I, I can't take it. I mean, you, you take the the, the ferry into Manhattan. Mm -hmm. It, you go on this way, you take the train. You go on this way, you take a bus. Mm -hmm. I just that drive. It's just, it's better. Mm -hmm. I, I would rather drive to Staten Island mm -hmm. and, then, and then take the train and the ferry anywhere in the city I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Harlem because I'm going to go to CNC and get my food because mm -hmm. that's the best uh, seafood stir fry right. in, in New York. So, yeah. Okay, nice. And it's, and it's a date, April 5th. We're going to be at least about recording studios. We're going to be recording two songs of mine, and we're going to make it do what it do on a seven inch vinyl record. Yes, I'm going to I ain't going on no date with you, fool. What you said? Then you ain't got to go. I said I'll be there. You ain't say that. I know what you said. I know what you said. Why do you guys do this? He started. He started. He started. And listen, the first thing out Malik's mouth is. He started it. <laughs> no, he did. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, whatever you say, my mate, man. These but, are um, my kids. Yeah. These are my kids. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, before we conclude this interview, can you tell the listeners where they can find you and follow you at? I'm on Facebook. I'm on, um, it's P. Michelle Thompson. On Instagram, it's SassyLady123. That's where you can find me. Right. And Forever Fusion mm -hmm. on Facebook. We yeah. Just go there. If you want to book the band, if you want to book these guys individually, just hit me up. Um, yes. And you can find me on Instagram, Kumalik82, even though I've deactivated, taking a break from it. And Facebook, a week long. Also, I got an email address for my podcast, the Queen Podcast at AOL.com. And if you want to be a guest, just hit me up on one of those social media platforms or email and we can set it up and take from there and talk about whatever you want to talk about. Boss Lady, P. Michelle, Miss P. Michelle Thompson, it's a pleasure having you on. It you was a pleasure being on. Yes, and you want to be a guest <laughs> once again. <laughs> Just let me know.